After accident-related surgery or an orthopedic operation, patients would like to get back on their feet as quickly as possible. To support the healing process, physicians and therapists frequently prescribe partial weight-bearing training because the medical establishment is well aware that the healing process is accelerated if the affected extremities are subjected to weight-bearing at an early stage, and above all, this will promote bone growth. Underarm crutches help the patient in this process. He or she must learn the correct way of walking and to take care to exert the correct degree of pressure on the leg or foot, not too much and not too little. For many patients, this is not so easy. You often tend to exert too much force on the leg or the foot. By helping the patient to avoid this problem, the peer and step system promotes the healing process. The intelligent crutches emit an acoustic and a haptic signal if the level of weight bearing is incorrect. This makes it much easier for the patient to apply the right amount of force right from the beginning. Measurement data is transmitted between the crutches and the PC per radio. This is also a great help for the physician or therapist. This enables the patient's gait to be precisely controlled and immediately corrected. The intelligent peer and step crutches can be used by the patient anytime and anywhere. Partial weight bearing training can be carried out everywhere. Radio connection to a PC is not necessary, and neither are other types of aids, such as insoles necessary. No force measuring plates, no cables, etc. For physicians and therapists, there is, in addition, the peer and step software. This enables patient specific feedback from the crutches and documentation of the therapeutic work. This represents time saving for physicians and therapists because after training the patient is able to carry out further partial weight bearing training quite independently. The peer and step is extremely versatile. Examples of possible areas of application are rehabilitation following leg or foot fractures, rehabilitation following crucial ligament or meniscus operations, rehabilitation following the implantation of artificial hip or knee joints, or in short, Peer and Step promotes the healing process where partial weight bearing has been recommended. The feedback system of the Peer and Step crutches can only function properly if the patient carries out the correct three-point gait procedure. During training, the physician or therapist ensures that the patient correctly learns this gait procedure. The injured foot and the crutches are set down on the ground at the same time. The injured foot is unrolled. Important here is that the crutches bear a part of the body weight via the underarm. This force must be controlled and exerted evenly and constantly. The injured foot and the crutches are raised from the ground at the same time. In this manner, the injured foot always bears only a part of the body weight. It is important that the foot is not subjected to too much or too little weight. If the weight bearing level is incorrect, the peer and step crutches emit an acoustic or a vibration alarm. The healing process is ideally promoted by the correct three point gate procedure and the peer and step feedback system. The peer and step software enables patient specific settings for the intelligent peer and step crutches. Crutches and PC communicate via the USB radio module which is supplied. Before the start of patient training, the relevant data is entered, in particular the body weight and the required partial weight bearing factor. In addition, the software enables a whole range of settings, monitoring the speed of the step or, for example, the tolerance limitations or also an alarm schematic. During training, the course of each step can be immediately evaluated and corrected as necessary. When gait training has been successfully completed, the connection to the PC is disconnected. During patient training with the peer and step crutches, all measurement data are recorded in the crutches. This helps him or her to apply the correct level of weight bearing. In this respect, a radio connection with the PC is unnecessary. On the next visit, the data from the crutches is transmitted to the software and can now be evaluated in detail. 
The patient receives valuable feedback from the therapist, who at the same time now has on the PC extensive documentation regarding the therapeutic work. The rechargeable batteries integrated into the crutches are easily recharged overnight by means of the charging unit provided. This ensures that the peer and step feedback system is at all times available for the patient.